everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Crown of Pain. I'm gonna turn down the gameplay sound effects just for a smidge. All right, let's dive into this. So it's a five dollar. Uh, actually, I'm loving this pixel art. It looks pretty neat. Well, and now we're here. Okay, so it's it's a match three, I guess. Yeah, it's got to be a match three RPG. Oh, so we were just fighting them. So Nakar Knight, once honorable member of the Queen's Guard slash three crowns, or maybe just match three swing sword. Dueling, doing two damage to the closest enemy. Here's a question. Can I do a four combo? Uh, do I even have any that is available? Okay, moves closer to me. So if I do a four combo, it still does... Oh, I do two attacks. Okay. So I do actually want the bigger combos if I can pull it off. That said, I am taking some damage here. So is it match three or swapping? It looks like I'm swapping. Uh, let's see, do I have any cool combos? Cause I'm terrible at match three. Yeah, okay, so it's it's not swapping fully. If I do this, no, yes. Oh, but it's only these stars. I don't attack with anything else. I have to do those. Well, that was a cascade effect where I almost could have died, maybe. But at least now I'm learning some things. Just hit the rat. Because, yeah, we're getting neat combos, but only so useful here. Hopefully, eventually, we get another character. Faith has been restored. Use your faith to increase your power or hire new mercenaries. Okay, hi. Uh, what is this? Okay, that's... Is this kind of roguelike-ish? Nah, it can't be. Let's go here. Ah, okay, so we have different characters that I can potentially recruit, but that requires a lot of things, so I guess I'm stuck with these people. I think that might have been a tutorial. Wait, is this secretly a roguelike? Maybe. Uh, uppercut, slice the closest enemy from the bottom, dealing 120% power damage. Effect on hit, there's a 50% chance to apply bleed. Hmm. Power slash, okay, those are a little bit too expensive. So... That's interesting. What else can we do? Mind. Increases dodge. Crit chance by 5%. Mind also works in com combination with soul, giving one shield for every 10 points of each. Soul gives plus 3 max HP for every point. It also works in combination with mind, giving one shield for every 10 points. Neat. I'm going to grab uppercut just because I don't have much of a choice. Everything is too expensive. And I guess I'm just going to go onwards and we'll see what happens. Formation and party skills. Well, I don't have anybody else, so I'm kind of stuck with this guy. Uh, so yeah, there's meta progression. So is this, is this a roguelike? I guess so. Let's take a look. So we have slash and we have uppercut. Both are viable, but I have to potentially pull them off. Let's just do that. Do I have to? Okay. I can't tell. Uh, let's see, do I have any cool combos that are kind of ready for me? Nope, whatever, just gonna go for it. It looks like a number of these are honestly... Let's just do that. Did I actually get them? I have no idea. Well, that should yeet the rat into non-existence all the same. Where are we at with this? Just gonna move that there. Okay, move these. I dodged. Damn. So no uppercut for me. Alright. I'll keep that in mind. I'll just try and go for this one. Oh. No. Oh. It's... It's three of these. That's how I attack. Okay, so that's actually quite useful. Because that means... I can potentially cycle both of them? I, I don't know. One way or another, this is what does damage. I just don't know how to trigger the uppercut versus the slash. Okay, we're back. Looks like we're still here. We barely have any points. I'm gonna increase our power by one. And we'll keep going. Menu, onwards. And, yeah, eventually I'm gonna be able to, be able to have a whole party here, but not at the mo- Meh. Not at the moment.
Okay, well, that extra damage goes a very long way, though. Move that there. Okay, put that there. Blast some things. I wish I did some bonus damage for combos, but I think the real answer is I just got to get to the point where uh, I have a second party member or more moves, and then everything gets a lot easier for me. Let's... Mm, how do we want to do this one? Put that there. It looks like we still attack. And go bananas on that rat. All right, there we go. And my big question is, what happens when I die? Do I lose all of my meta progression, or do I only lose part of it? Okay. Well, either way, let's keep upgrading these. I... Up, upping my strength seems like a good idea. And we might want to save up for both of these at some point, at least for now. I don't know. Onwards, we'll just see what happens when I die. I don't really mess too much with... Oh, bleed. Bush. Lurking around the bushes might cause you to bleed. Okay. Bite. It's fair. Let me see. Go with the base combo. I don't see anything particularly fancy here. It's a little unfortunate. Let's just move that there. But yeah, that doesn't do anything. I should have gone the other way. Ugh, damage. Okay. I might die sooner than later. We will see. Well, the cascade effect is certainly satisfying. It definitely shreds. Alright, big hit. Still not enough. I'm glad I invested in power, but it only seems to do so much for me. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. If I move that there. There we go. Get a nice hit. Alright, we're good. Gonna do that, and then hopefully just cascade kill all of them. Yes! Alright, that is really satisfying. Alright, snake. Has poison, has other things. Oof. But I mean, if I keep pulling off hits like that, I will live. Miraculously. Okay, I'm not... I'm not done yet. That's a doozy. I'm gonna move this here. Better to go for the big combo and just hope that it just turns out exactly like that. Alright. So I think I might want to... <sighs> oh, do I invest more in power? Yes. Because I have... I have nothing else to me. I'm the most one-trick pony with big arms. Let's see. Do I see any, like, eminently good combos here? The answer is no. I'm just going to complete that and hope it starts opening some things up for me. Yeah. Oh, hey, here we go. Okay, that's the big hits I'm looking for. Big hits. No crit, but it's fine. Put that there. Combos a bunch of things together, and if that does not just... You just delete us a bunch of foes, then I don't know what will. Okay, let's do that for the double combo, because yeah, we're just trying to clear as much from these lanes as I possibly can. Eventually, we're going to have a full party, and that's when this gets really beautiful. Alright, faith has been restored. How am I not dead? Okay. Uh, increases dodge and crit chance for 5% for every point, or just soul. I'm just going to invest a little bit in soul and one in mind. I guess a little bit in mind. 
We're getting to the point where I could maybe, maybe buy one of these guys. What are the people in the tavern? Other party members, but I am poor. Okay, what are we looking at? If I do that, that gets me a nice uppercut. Or was supposed to? I don't know. Uh, do I got any bigger combos than this? That kinda. Uh, do I actually want that? No. Do I have anything better? Also, no. Ah, right, whatever. Please have another enemy spawn so I can just absolutely give them a firm drubbing. Nope. Balls. Well. There we go. I think we're getting to the point where I die. Yeah, I think we are at that point now. My stats were not high enough. So let's see what happens. Creatures of the Queen are too strong. Okay. Wait, do I just continue where I left off or does it kick me back? It No, it looks like it's just where I left off. I just keep going. And I can just grind freely. Okay, so it's not a roguelike. It has it has some roguelike trappings, but those are a disguise. Is it way less depressing than the last game? I like it. I like it too. It's got a lot of merits to it. Uh, it's an odd duck for sure, but I think a lot of games have to be an odd duck to survive nowadays. Let's see. How do I want to do this one? Put that there. There we go. Big snake is spooky. But my combos might carry me. Hello, foes. I bring big damage. Delete bush. All right, we're good. There's a really good blood spot there, but I gotta clear it out. And I don't think that's happening. I got another uh, number of decent ones here. Let's just move that there. Because that might open us up to something. There we go. I like it. Faith has been restored. We have 61. I think I might want to say... Do I save up? Nah. All in on the absolute stat train. I'll get my... I'll get my moves. I'll get my moves. Oh, I see. That's how it works. So each of these locked skill slots can only take one. So I'm going to need party members if I want to combo with any of the other tiles. That honestly is fine, actually. But we that really does mean that I, I'm going to need some more party members. But because this isn't a roguelike, it doesn't matter as much, if that makes sense. That, yeah, there's some base level of like, hey, I don't actually want to like lose a run, but at the same time, there's not a whole lot of consequence if I do. Because then I just get back to grinding. And it works out. Okay. Wow, it's going quick. Question, can I go back to any of these? No. So we just keep going until we have either enough for a new move or or a new party member. Party members are way more expensive, which is kind of not my favorite. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to let everything carry me forward all the same. There we go. It definitely seems like horizontal combos net me better stuff. <sighs> mm. 
love to get something else here, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm actually quite dead here. Let's just move this down. Yeah, I'm dead. All right. How much I'm at? 67. Here's a question. If I upgrade Power Slash... Oh! Because if I get Power Slash... Now I'm... I'm curious about how these work. But I think... I think at this point we might want to just save up for a character. Or more stats. I... I don't know. Oh no, it, it does kick me back whenever I lose. Okay. That's yeah, fair, actually. Because that, that means less grinding on a level that is hard for me. Okay, I take it back. I don't know if horizontal upgrades actually make any kind of difference here. There we go. Uh, grab that. Don't think it can do too much. Get in with the two hit. Oh, not a two hit. It's fine. There we go. It just seems, even though I don't have the, uh, even though I don't have the party members, it seems like it's worth it for me to just clear things out anyway. Because, yeah, no matter what happens, I don't want to say that I win. Because it's not a guaranteed win, but s since I don't have to restart a run, I just keep grinding until I'm strong enough. And I think the easiest way to get strong enough is going to be getting a second party member so that all of these other combinations I'm making aren't wasted. Because I'm pulling off combos left and right, for moves that I don't have access to, but that's okay. Okay, put that there. Gets me a number of combos. There we go, 132. Keep pushing. Let's see. Swap those. So that does actually give me the uppercut. I think I actually got three moves there. Oh, so the regular attack happens per combo, but then if I pull off an uppercut, it's both. Neat. Oops. I guess that wasn't what I was looking for, but that's maybe fine. These snakes, man. No damn mercy. Oh, it's okay. They are worth a lot, though. Uh, just combo that there. I was hoping for more than that, and I'm dead. Interesting that you can make moves that don't do anything. Well, it's because you want a part uh, party member for that. Once you have party members, then those... Yeah, so I get kicked back, like, two. That's fine. Works for me. Here we go. Here's a good uppercut spot. Wreck them all. There we go. Swap those. Just absolutely demolished. Gosh, it's because there's only four different token uh, token types, tile types. Which means, genuinely, it's really easy to get uh, Cascade Effect combos here. Which is actually, like, it's pretty good, actually. Okay. Grab those. Just keep deleting. If only it would carry over onto the next fight, though. But it's okay. There we go. Giving them combos. We have enough, we have enough. Let's buy somebody. Who do we buy? Zulan, brother of legendary swordsman. 
a swordsman. Oh, so brother. Vino, shaman that was once left for dead, uses chance to change the course of battle. Or Gretel. Sister who seeks crown from Mad Queen to get back to get back her brother. Brother! Okay, so now I have two. Unfortunately, brother is not actually great at the moment. He'll get there. Because now... Uh, which of these do we combo? Honestly? I'm actually... I'm going to put him here. Reason being, uh, we have a skill combo at the moment for the moon. And that way they'll both be able to just wail on stuff. Uh... Because now he will attack whenever I do a moon. And then when I get both a moon and a black, they'll both attack. I'm going to do that for the time being. Go for the double combo if I can. How much do you want to bet that Gretel's brother is Ansel? Oh, absolutely. Okay, do we have anything else? No, I'm just going to do that. That'll get us some combos. That got us a number, actually. Where we go next? Just that? There? Yeah. Might as well. Perfect. Yeah, they definitely chew through things a lot quicker. Let's... Honestly, I think I'm just going to... Eh, no, 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 no. Go back a bit. Because he doesn't have any stats in the moment, does he? No, he's pretty weak. We might also want to get a move. Like lightning. Yeah, let's let's save up for 88, get him a new move. Hopefully that'll unlock a new skill for us. This is, like, really cool. It doesn't have the most amount of depth ever, but for a match 3 RPG, it's got some chops to it. Okay. They are absolutely just mulching the... the brother, but that's okay. Please stop mulching Axe, brother. Oh, but he bleed. And is now dead now. That was Axe Brother's favorite combo. It's fine. You can only stop me temporarily. And you can do a lot of damage to me in the meantime. Which is nothing short of it wildly inconvenient. Ow, that didn't do anything, did it? do that. See if that leads to any kind of cascade. Yeah, and we're dead. That's fine. Okay. Keep going. Keep going until we get lightning slash. Whew. Yeah, you really do get kicked back. It's fine, though. I mean, like all good RPGs, the grinding is kind of fun. Played a lot of... I've played a lot of not great JRPGs that are just like, hey, what if the grinding was just hellaciously boring? And it's like, no, I don't want that. There we go. Keep the combos going. Never mind, they keep dying. Wow, they're actually... The, the combo does keep going. And does keep doing damage to these guys. Well, that was great. Okay, uh, let's go back to you. I'm gonna get the lightning power. Please tell me that unlocked that. Yes, ability is available. Perfect. So now we should potentially have some of these symbols working. All we gotta do is get a good blood move. Maybe. Uh, what else we got? Uh, let's see. Grab that. There we go. That'll just really start spitting some moves. Anything? Whoa. Now these are some combos that I really wish there was a foe for me to hit during. Nice. 
because yeah, the other thing I could do is very much have him go eh, no he's really stuck on these isn't he so in that case let's go back to this go here but I'm gonna move moon brother to blood that way maybe no tiles are wasted Because there's the lightning axe. Yeah. So when we get, when we get these ca uh, cascading effects, hopefully it just sends my guys on a frenzy. Okay, what are we fighting? I scale that. We get a nice little cascade. Beautiful. Okay, swap these. There we go. I, I d like I said, I don't play a whole lot of match threes, but this is really satisfying purely from the perspective of, because there are so few tiles, I have all of these cascade attacks triggering constantly and it's like very satisfying just seeing it happen over and over again. There we go, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do with that. Not great. Not the worst. Let's see. Got a nice li lightning axe out of that. If I do this, no, they don't actually combo together, but they do die, so it's not so bad. Uh, do I got any good horizontal combos? I got a little bit. Ooh, Axe Brother, no. If I do this. Brings that a little closer. Never mind, we get a cascade effect. It's okay. There we go. Keep whirling on them. Do not let the snakes take us. There we go. Hmm. There we go. It is fun to watch it pop off more than... Uh, like, more often than not. There we go. Almost enough for another party member. I think I'm just going to go for that. Stat, stat ups can wait. As soon as we're getting full coverage of every single... Um, every single ability so that at least one of my characters is doing something. I think that's going to uh, change this dramatically in the best way. How do I want to do this one? Because there's a number of combos that are almost good, but they might take some setup. So I might want to just ignore them for the time being and just see what else I can get. And I mean, it broke the combo, but it gave me another one. Boop. And that is satisfying. We got next you what do you give me a hey. it's a combo the snakes here are definitely punchy okay he dead yeah I mean my my constant combination attacks weren't going to last forever or carry me forever but we've got enough for another party member there we go just keep killing I believe in you one more. Nope. He dead. They really like beating up Axe Brother. They do. He also does have less HP. Let's grab Vino. Oh, he's 400. Oh. I deserve the things that have happened to me. Uh, I don't know. Do we upgrade Axe Brother a little bit? I could.
We'll just upgrade upgrade him twice. Yeah, so the new party members are pretty expensive. Which is kind of the downside. But that's okay. Ow. Wow, yeah. Axe Brother does not have nearly as much HP. As durable old me. Set that there. Eh, kinda. Oh, if I could get another blue in this slot. That would have been big money moves, but that's fine. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Put that there. Anything else? Kinda. It's fine. It's the snakes again. Ooh. Oh! Axe, brother. Uh, let's see. I got a four combo right here. That might be worth something. It was, in fact. Oh, good dodge. Kind, kind of good dodge. Nope, that wasn't it. Ow. I'm really, really reliant on those solid combo attacks. Yep. Yeah. And, okay, good dodge, good dodge. Keep it up. Beat him up. I think we're golden. Hooray! We did get it. Okay. Very expensive. <sighs> but I think I'm just going to keep pushing onwards. Because, yeah, if I can get that 400... We're golden. It doesn't look like it sets it up so I can do any four combos right off the start. I really have to go for other things. That was a power combo. Oh, that's okay. I do that. We get a combo. Just that combo, though. But it's fine. Anything else? There's you. I'm getting munched. Uh, do that, see if I can get another blood nearby. Oh, Axe Brother. He's been slain. Wow. This snake was ready to just chew on me. Ouch. go. It might want to invest in dodge chances for both of them. I think that actually has some potential. Nope, he dead. It's fine. Okay, how are we doing? Honestly, I'm going to keep pushing ahead. It seems like 40 or 50 per fight. And yeah, if I can get a third character... It feels like it'll be most valuable. Yes, more combo. Blood! Beautiful blood. Zap them all. That's... That's a good combo. Unfortunately, I will say systems like this... The combos cascading like this does make me feel like I have very limited agency. I'm just kind of rolling. It's good, but I'm just kind of rolling. Okay, what do we even do? I'm always trying to go for the horizontals more than anything else. And I'm not sold on that actually being the right way to do it. Wow. Okay, this is just... Sure, delete them. Make my day. Uh, let's see, if I do that... Combos those together. Do you get any further? No. Very good. New. No. Not even close. Uh, 
Let's see, swap these. Oh, wasn't he supposed to get the lightning axe off? Maybe not. Um, put that there. See what we end up with. Alas. Uh, a lot of nothing. There we go. Victory. How much was that? Ah, not enough. Wow, that actually was like pitifully little. Unfortunately. I wonder if someone has a preference towards horizontal or vertical in a game like this could be used to judge anything psychologically. Maybe? I don't think so. I feel like that kind of thing just ends up verging on phrenology. Like, you could maybe judge somebody for it as a result, but it would be one of those where it's just like, if you saw a bat in this picture, then you're evil. It's like, what? I remember all of those old, like, Facebook kind of personality quiz psychological tests back when I was in high school. And they were always just pure hooey. I'm like, I understand why people got really into them. Holy shit, we made a lot out of this one. Okay. If I do that, then that auto-completes the whole combo and bammo. Victory! And we can hire a man! Hello, man! You have been hired, and now I am poor. But that's okay. Because now I have three! Three people! Uh, either or, really? I'll have to get him his ability. But it is fine. Boop! I should figure out what those chants do, though I don't think we have access to them at the moment. We're just trying to get enough juice that I can... Oh no! He did actually pull off a chant. Whatever good it did, I wish I knew. I mean, that seems to just be his attack. I might have to turn that sound effect down. It's a little obnoxious. They're eating him. They're eating him alive. Okay. Well, the nice part is having more party members effectively doubles or triples my health. Which actually works really well for me. I also do not know if having the wizard on the front line does anything. Well, we died. Yeah, we, we got some money. Okay, so let's take a look. Chant of Weakness. Deals reduced power, true damage to a target. On it has a 100% chance to apply weakness. Chant of Power has a 100% chance to increase ally group power by 3. Chance to stun all enemies or... Applies recovery effect to a random ally that will restore 2 to 3 health at the end of that turn. Whoo! I might want Chant of Soul. Chant of Power is also good. Like, frankly, I might want to just get all of my skills on Chant Man. There we go. Wow, yeah. That works shockingly well. Okay. Gimme combo. Gimme big combo. Ow. There we go. I do really appreciate that different, uh, the different character abilities can be applied in different manners. It very much has that feeling of like, oh, I could actually go for like a build here. And really focus on one character or another. A lot of games don't do that, and it's a bit of a shame. There we go, that's a beautiful setup right there. Death. Okay, let's, um, menu. 
If I return to menu, please let me continue this run. I just want to turn down those sound effects a little bit more. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You, we want Chant of Soul. Buy it. Oh, the rest of the moves get more expensive. I get it. Okay, av ability available. Perfect. So now we have Chant of Soul, which gives me a heal. Oh, I forget. Okay, that's the blood combo, but it's for blood. I'm not going to go out of my way to pull it off most of the time. Maybe I should. Wait, do they move some of my tiles around? I think they did. Okay, he's got poisoned. I don't know if it works. It probably did and I probably just missed it. Ow. Dang, spiders are hurty. Well, it's okay. How much is the fourth player? Either 600 or 800, and I'm not quite sure. Suffice to say, probably pretty expensive. go for his regular attacks because we were trying to kill them never mind he dead no he's not dead what unfortunately I don't think he has any cool moves that he can pull off so we'll just hit that and just see what happens never mind he doesn't do anything it's okay all right let's go back I'll just give the wizard some HP Give the brother some HP. All right, there we go. Because at this point we need, I'd like the fourth party member. But later, let's just go with that for the time being. Okay, it did actually heal him. Uh, let's see. Leave that there. So it actually did heal him a fair bit, too. Uh, let's just set that up. I'm just trying to have somewhat cascade effects so that uh, we can go back to super comboing. I do like the heal, though. Like, if I can pull that off more often, it seems like it's going to have some good effects here. There we go. Yep, it does It does trigger even on the crosswise, so as long as the combo leads to four or more. Okay, so if I do that... Combo of plenty. Maybe no heals, but maybe we don't need the heals. Okay. Move those there. Good setup. Poor mage is getting absolutely beat down, but that's to be expected, I guess. We got it. Uh, let's see. How much is she? 600. Okay, that's not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. What is... What's our next ability? We need something that uses moon. So, ch chance of power. Yeah, I think we want to save up for that.
I should probably up their HP, but yeah, let's let's get the chanted power. Because upping my damage by three across the board seems like a really good idea. I think it triggers a lot more often, too. Poked the mic. I apologize. Okay. There we go. Get blasted. Eh, damage is kind of good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, look at that. Big shots. I want to get to the boss before we're done here. This game is just compelling enough that I want to get a little further. I don't think I'm going to stream more of, more of this. Just due to my ever-present time issues. But I gotta say, like, there's a lot of promise in the core gameplay loop. Even though, yes, it is match three. The different characters add a decent amount of spice and giving me a bunch of different things to play around with. The different ability system, for sure, is pretty neat. Hey, V! How's it going? Thanks for the raid! And welcome on in. We're playing a game called Crown of Pain, which has nothing to do with Ring of Pain. Uh, but it is a, uh, it's another budget banger that I found, uh, came out earlier today? I think it was earlier today. How do I want to do this one? Uh, let's just put this here. There we go, that's the stuff. But he uses basic match three combat in conjunction with chance of power. There we go. Yeah, ability available. Chance of power, perfect. So all we need is just another party member and we're good. But yeah, it's a match 3 RPG. Uh, it's fairly lightweight, all things considered. But each character has uh, a different tile associated with them. So this guy has the black flowers. You get three of them, he slashes. If you get three of them plus three moons, he does a slash and an uppercut. This guy does healing and debuffs and this guy does damage and stuns. And so my entire setup here is trying to get as many big combos as I possibly can. Ooh. Looks like Wizman got stunned. Ouch. Still got healed though, which is good. Okay, what else do we have here? I see a lot of pretty solid combos, I just have to keep setting them up. There we go. Problem is they're hurting my big DPS here. Which is a little not friendly. Okay, do we have anything else? We do, but not in the moment. Mm. I'm just gonna do that for the moment. That'll get me some combos. That gets me a lot of combos, in fact. There we go! It's actually kind of cool. It's neat! It's... I, I think the biggest thing for me at the moment is just very much that it's like, it's a $5 game. Uh, right now anything that is like a, a cheap $5 experience that I can play for maybe like two hours is nothing short of incredible for me. Well, I guess that's not as practical. But this year has been absolutely riddled with really neat, high quality, uh, like cheap games and I've been all for it, just in terms of like, oh man, this is neat. I can pick it up and then put it down. And there's no feeling of like, I wish I had, uh, you know, I wish I hadn't bought that game. It was a game that I did buy for that much. I bought Tales of Arise for my birthday, played it for about two hours and then never went back. And I really should and I really want to and it kind of sucks that I haven't. So I've got to go Frost if I want to fight with this guy. Ain't gonna win, but at least I can do some damage. Okay, what else do we have? A little bit more frosts. So I, uh, I mean, he might pull it off. If hits like that, oh, holy shit! He got it. The Yeet Mage pulled it off. Do we give him some more damage, or do we start investing in a HP? I think we start investing in HP. My damage is good, my survivability is not.
Okay. What do we do next? There we go. Unfortunately, these spiders are punchy heck. There we go. That's the stuff. There we go. Keep going for those. Because, yeah, that, that heal isn't really my biggest focus here. However, pulling it off more often than not is actually, I mean, it's nice. It's what I'm looking for. Hmm, how do I do this one? I'm just going to do that. That's a good hit. That is a good hit. What else we got? Just keep blood healing. Because it's very clear my damage is solid. Can I see how much bonus damage I do? Uh, it looks like it's just a plus three. I was really hoping that would stack a little bit further, but it does not. It's fine. That give me some combos. There we go. And they're dead. Well, we at least get to see the boss. Begs the question, what are we up against? Okay, Grun Spider. I guess it, I don't actually know if it's like a boss per se or if it's just a a big critter or big critter wave. Looks like it's just a bunch of gnarlies. Gosh, though. Keep giving me hits like that and I'm going to be a happy camper. Alright. I... We might actually beat this by sheer grace of combo. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, do we have any other big plays that I can do? Not as such. We got one. And didn't do anything. They, we kind of got our heal. Unfortunately, they're really aiming for Axe Brother, which is everything that I don't want. Because he is by and far the most vulnerable brother. And now he is dead. How could you do this to Axe Brother? There we go. Ow. And unfortunately, going for the healing only does so much when all of my enemies do that much damage. Oh, you look... Kind of spooky. Spider egg. Yeah, it's spooky. Okay, and then there was one. How do we do this? Looking for black and white combos. I guess if I do that, that at least gets me a couple of them. Uh, Alright, we cleared it. Ding dong, the boss is dead. Alright, so let's take a look at this. So we've still got a little bit further, but we're getting a lot closer to the end than I thought we were going to. Either way, it's solid. It's got a ways to go. I'm looking forward to all the different characters being available, and I'm curious about some of these. Oh, Stand United. Unleashes the battle shout, uh, unleashes a battle shout empowering, empowering ally group, giving them 25% power shield. See, that seems really useful. The extra damage is good, but survivability is like cannot be denied Ooh, thunder though calls thunder from the sky dealing 80 percent power damage like the lightning is good but i feel like thunder clears enemies chant of soul is solid chant of power is great stand united is good i'll have to try some of these different ones i might want to get him the axe of thunder here's the question though chant of soul is the one that does the bleed 
Stand United. Okay. I think Stand United would be the next thing I'd grab. Because I can potentially switch Uppercut. Nope. Oh. So we'd be losing Chant of Power. I think. Here, let's just remove all of these for a second to figure out. Okay, so Stand United has to be here. Chant of Soul has to be here. Lightning can be there. Okay, so it's really we just lose the heal. That's fine. Either way, for a $5 game, pretty solid. It doesn't look like it's very long, but I think one of the main points of the game is replaying it to try different combos to see which is stronger. Neat. Either way, I think this is a good stopping point. for. So for those of you guys watching on YouTube, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons of them to check out. But for now, I'm going to go eat some dinner. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.